Hi everyone, it's me, See Lefty Run, um, giving you my week six running recap for the 2023 Boston Marathon. So for week six, I ran a total of 49 miles. So this plan caps out at 55 miles, some six miles away from capping out. Um, on Monday, I ran six miles with Tommy, or no, Sunday, I'm sorry. On Sunday, I ran six miles with Tommy on the treadmill. I'm doing that iFit Boston series. And I did workout five of seven where we tackled the Newton Hills because I wanted to see what the Newton Hills were like. And um, I'm not really sure like my, my treadmill self adjusts to the incline. So I'm not really sure like how accurate it is when in regards to the course, but it was good to see. I think it, it went up between 2% and 7%. So, and I hear the Newton Hills are not bad. It's just where they are in the race and they start at mile 16. And I think they go on for about four miles. So I just set my treadmill to like a 10 minute pace. And then on the downhill portions, I would speed it up to uh, an 830 pace. So did those six miles with him. Uh, then on Monday was Martin Luther King Jr. Day. I had an appointment with my physical therapist. We did some exercises. It was okay. Um, I'm still doing those exercises I've been doing. I feel like I haven't had any, my hamstrings a bit tight. That's nothing out of the ordinary. Um, but my calf has been cooperating. I've been giving it pep talks every day. Like, come on, you can do it. It's going to be okay. Um, so anyway, did six miles on Monday at a 923 pace. And my heart rate was 138. I ran by myself. Um, oh, and then I got my iron checked on Monday morning and I paid for that myself because, you know, iron's a big, uh, big indicator of your running and how you feel when you run. And I told you about my blood work and I fasted and they wouldn't redo the panel. So I was like, well, I still want to get my iron. So I paid out, out of pocket, got my iron checked my iron's okay. It's not great. Like my ferritin is kind of on the low side, especially as a runner, but you know, your general practitioners don't understand like that it should be higher if you're an endurance athlete. And for her, she's like, well, it looks fine. And I'm like, yeah, but I run, it's supposed to be higher. Needless to say, I'm not going to supplement. I just don't want to take one more thing. And I feel okay. I feel fine when I run. So you know, I'm just, I'm, I just don't really want to take iron. I'll eat more green vegetables or something. I don't know. Um, so on Tuesday is when I do my track workout. I did nine miles on Tuesday. I did another four with Tommy to like warm up. And then I went to track at 6 PM and then I did a one mile warm up, And then the track workout itself was four miles. And so the track workout, I had assigned from my Luke Humphrey plan, um, eight, six hundreds, no, 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 six, eight hundreds. So six half miles, right. Making three miles. Um, but I enjoy, I would much rather do a track workout with a group. And so I just do whatever my run clubs track coach assigns because I'm working the same system anyway, which is that anaerobic system. And so I'm like, whatever, as long as I'm tapping into that system, it should be okay. Um, so the workout was a pyramid workout and you go from four, you do one, 400, 600, 800, 1200, 800, 600, 400. And then after each one, you do like a, you know, one minute walking recovery and my heart rate average for that was 157. My pace was kind of weird. I don't think it tracked it right. But for the, I had like a rep in the five minute range, which I never felt like I was running that fast. And then I had one as slow as like 745, which I never really felt like I was running that slow. Not the 745 is slow, but at the track, you know, for a short distance, it is. And so I'm not sure if GPS was accurate. I don't care. It was hard. I did it, you know, effort, I do those effort-based anyways. So yeah, Wednesday I rested. Um, Thursday I did six miles at 944. As I was leaving Thursday morning, I was like, oh no, I was supposed to run eight miles today, not six. My heart rate was 138. 
So I moved the eight miles to Friday. So I ran the eight miles on Friday. My average pace was a 954 and I ran, my heart rate was 141. So weird how I ran it slightly faster the day before my heart rate was lower. And then on Friday I was uh, slower. My heart rate was higher. I really wanted to take it easy because on Saturday I did a 14 mile run. I finally made it to Palos Verdes. I have it on my Instagram. Um, so you're curious in checking that out. I don't know. Um, and Palos Verdes is rolling hills. So I wanted to get some hills in and I took my Saucony endorphin speeds with me to Palos Verdes. I got a late start, like around nine 30, but my kids didn't have any sports or anything going on that day. So I was like, it's a good day to do it because it does take about a half an hour for me to get there and then a half an hour. So it's an ex extra hour. Um, and I brought my Nathan handheld water bottle because once you get into Palos Verdes, you're, you're not, there's no water fountains. So I don't know what like the percent grade is, but it's pretty steep. I think I had a total climb of like a thousand feet in all. And um, my average pace for it was an 841, which I was really pleased with. The last time I did it, uh, my average pace was about an 845 and I only did eight miles. So when I carried on for 14 miles, when I got to the top, I think I was at about four and a half miles and I wanted to turn around at um, a little over seven miles since it was a 14 mile run and you carry on and it's rolling hills. So I carried on and, you know, you hit more hills and then I turned around and came back. So I was really happy with the 841 and my average heart rate was a 152. I said I wore the Saucony and Dorman Speeds, which was kind of tough because there is a bike path that I, Torn Speech, from Redondo Beach Pier through Torn Speech, and then you go up to Palos Verdes. The Torn Speech part of the bike path was very sandy. So I kept kind of like, the Saucony and Dorman Speeds don't have great grip. And so I kept kind of slipping on that. And on the, it didn't really bother me on the way out. But when you're fatigued, it was really bothering me on the way back. I almost went back up and ran on the road, but I was like, just deal with it. You don't have much longer to go. So yeah, so I was very, very happy with that. So physical therapy, I'm still doing that. I'm really happy that my body's been cooperating. Um, I bought the Saucony Triumph 20 and I'm returning it. Not that it's not a great shoe. It's a really nice shoe but I just can't find a spot for it in my rotation. I still like the Nike Zoom X Invincibles better. And I got them for a hundred bucks. I got another pair for a hundred dollars. And the Triumph 20 is $160. So I thought if I only had one max cushion shoe, it'd be great to have the Saucony Triumph with the Speed and then with the Pro. And that would be a good rotation, but I've already got the ride and then I've got the Zoom X. So I'm like, I don't have a place for this shoe. And it there was nothing like the Zoom X to me. I hate that I love it because it's a Nike shoe, but it, there's just a bounce to it. Like I really enjoy putting it on and it's like probably my favorite shoe. Not, you know, I wouldn't wear it in a race, um, but I just enjoy wearing it. So yeah, I, it's, the Zoom X too was, on sale for hundred bucks. My new retail is full price at 180. So it's a steal. So I was like, I just can't justify spending $160 on a shoe I don't need. So I'm back and it's not, I like a max cushion shoe. I like to feel it. I like to feel the softness of it. I just didn't get that from the Triumph. It was quite stiff. I will say you can do, like I said, if I only had one, one shoe, max cushion shoe, the Triumph would work. It kind of is a more cushioned sock and ride. Um, so, and you can kind of pick up the pace in it and it felt like a little bit like the endorphin speed. It, it's a good shoe, but again, I'm like, when am I going to wear this shoe? Never. So, and then maybe later on, if I decide I want it, it'll be on sale. Maybe when the 21 comes out or something. So anyway, I return, I am going to return that shoe. That's that 49 miles week six. I'm already at week six. I know 12 more weeks left, right? Something like that. Anyway, hope your running is going well. Um, and yeah, happy to report mine this week was good. 
So I'm trying to think of what I've got coming up next week, but I guess I'll talk to you about that next week. Anyway, happy running to you. I hope you're doing well. And I look forward to talking to you next week. Bye.